What's good, y'all? It's the Doom Shack, Saria, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. Super excited for this video. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 200K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. And the first one we have is just remember, don't call it Holland, call it the Netherlands. Because Holland is actually two of the 12 <coughs> counties here in the Netherlands. And yes, it's the one that has Amsterdam and Leiden and Harlem and stuff like that. So a lot of the tourists only see the Holland part, but don't call it Holland, call it the Netherlands. You'll make more friends here in the Netherlands if you call it that instead, okay? okay? Now, my second don't I have for you is don't think that the Netherlands is just Amsterdam. Yes, you have the canals all over the place. You have these things, but you know what? Those canals are in other cities as well, and you can go and explore. Go to Harlem. I mean, literally, it's a 15-minute, or if you get the slow train, 18-minute train ride out there, and you can see the guild houses. They're just gorgeous there. You can see St. Bavos Cathedral in the center with the organ there that Mozart played as a kid. You can go Go see the, the Franz Halls Museum. You can go out to Leiden and check those things out. You can go up to Maastricht or Guningen. There's so much to see and do in the Netherlands besides just coming to, ne to Amsterdam. And yes, Amsterdam is cool. You should come here. Don't worry. But don't think that the whole country is just this. Because once you leave Amsterdam, you start to see a much different country without the crazy tourists and stuff like that. And that gets us to the third don't we have for you is don't be a stupid tourist when you get here. Now, I'm not saying don't be a tourist. I'm saying don't be stupid about certain things like the drugs and the red light districts and, and, and the mm. alcohol and stuff like that. Because when you come to Amsterdam, you'll see the people that are just stoned out of their mind walking around. You will smell the drugs and these kind of things. And the Dutch don't like that either. And you don't want to be that tourist. For example, last night in my hotel room, about a midnight, we had a, a big group came in. They were all just out of control. And the manager had to come after half an hour to calm them down. If there was, they were going to kick them out. So you don't want to be that way. So if you're going to come and you're going to experiment with drugs and things like that, like you know, some tourists do, I, I don't judge or anything like that, I don't do it, but I know a lot of tourists do, be safe when you do it. You know, Don't do drugs in the street, don't buy it from the people in the street and things like that. Go to the coffee shops and do those be things safe. there. Be safe. It's safer for you and it might mm -hmm. help not to be one of those you know, bad tourists when you are here. Now my fourth don't for you when you come I mean, not just that, that. Anytime you're dealing with any substance that's going to get you, you know, dizzy or uh, out of your mind you know you just become a target at that point because now you're yeah. the loudest you look like you're unstable you're things of that nature yeah yeah you're not alert so you just got to be mindful of that i feel like that's great information for anybody you know what i'm saying if you can't handle it don't don't mess with it and i think it's also great because because when people hear of the netherlands they think of the red light district they, they do they, mm -hmm. you know it's they feel like it's a party it's a good time yo but they've been around for years see right so yeah. it's, it's like a hey you know what it's, it's a thing out there, so. Yeah, but because it's a thing out there, they may think that they could act like a local. Yes, mingle amongst the locals. Mm -hmm. Enjoy mm -hmm. what's there, but also understand that you are a visitor. Yeah. What they can get away with, you can't. It's not your house. Okay. <laughs> it's not your house. This is... You'll notice that there's a lot of like fried street food that's really tasty and fried little snacky do's around the country. And the thing is, is my don't for you is don't just bite in, okay? Mm -hmm. Whether you're getting the croquetten or the bitterballen or the, the fries or the mayonnaise or peanut sauce has been my favorite. You get those things, don't just start eating because you'll bite into it and they are so hot. They serve their food really, really really hot. I think I've gone right. through like four or five layers of skin in my mouth just today, okay? So do blow on your food to save your taste buds and save your stuff because there's a lot of really cute, oh, hey, tasty, fresh treats you can have Perfect. Here, that is what? Like still with the like oil cold. boiling on hot, so do be careful. Now, we were just talking about that and it made me think too because I once made that comment on the last video. When you go to a restaurant and it don't taste the same every single time you go there, mm -hmm. I don't like that. Yeah. But I can deal with, oh, today somebody's in the kitchen and the food probably just been sitting there for a minute and they gave it cold. I just sit in the bag and say, can I get it hot? Right. And, and if y'all serve Y'all may, may look down on that, but uh, we, we pay for good food. Yeah, because I'm not about to eat no cold food. I don't That's like cold not food. supposed to be hot. What, what mm -hmm. we doing that for? Mm -hmm. you know? So if y'all got fresh food like that, big A+. Yes. Keep doing your thing. We like it. Oh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> Especially if you're coming with little kids because you don't want Junior going, ah, when he's trying to enjoy a tasty treat here, okay? 
Now, my next note for you is anywhere in the Netherlands, you're going to see bikes, okay? And my course, recommendation for you is don't go into the bike lanes. Don't walk in the bike lanes. Remember, red, dead. Because if you're walking in the red where the bikes are, you can get hit. And the Dutch are cool and all, don't get me wrong. But if you get in their way when they're riding their bikes, they become like, I will take you out. And it doesn't matter if they have their baby they in front play. of them and they their three-year-old in front of them. They're going for you, okay? So don't walk in the bike lane, all right? It is a serious thing. And you, I mean, you can't get hurt hitting, hit by those bikes, man. Man, they're old-fashioned, like steel kind of stuff, and you'll get, you'll get whammoed, okay? So tell you, don't bikes. walk in the bike lane. Also, don't with that. It was a pedestrian zone. Don't ride your bike through there either, okay? Make sure you get off the bike and walk it, because you can actually get a fine for that, so mm. just a heads up. Now, my next don't for you when you come here to the Netherlands is don't take it personally. Look, whether it is you, you, you're, if you're a little prudish or whatever, whether it is the red light districts or the coffee shops or the fact that the Dutch are very direct when they talk to you, like they'll say, hey, dude, why are you so fat? Like they don't mean to me with, they just want to know. And they're really to the point. And some tourists get kind of offended by they that, know. especially in the service industry. So I would say like another don't is don't get in too much of a hurry when you go to a restaurant because it'll take time until they come to your table to take your order. And, and another don't going along with that is don't forget to ask for your bill. They're not just going to come by and say, oh, would you like your bill now? Sometimes you got to go up and say, hey, can I get my bill, please? And so you might have to do that. Just, just kind of a heads up on that one. And the thing is, is with that, just don't take that personally because that's just how it is here. They don't mean it in a bad way. That's just the way they are. Now, my next don't for you is if you come, don't forget to bring a credit card or a debit card with a chip in it with a PIN number. There's a lot of places here that you actually just pay without talking to anybody and you're going to need a chip card to put yeah, in and I put like the PIN it. numbers in and yeah. stuff like that. So just make your life easier so you can go and pick up stuff very easily. So that is nice. Um, another thing is, is don't forget to have a few coins though because there's actually some vending machines where you can get food out of vending machines like hot food for a euro or two to save a lot, little bit of money but you need some coins for that. And some of those places will exchange money or change it into coins but not always so do have some of those coins ready. Another don't I have for you is don't worry about the Dutch stereotypes of the clogs and the windmills and the canals and the beautiful buildings and, and the really tall people and the cheese and things like that because yes, you really will see a lot of cheese shops. You will see a lot of windmills going throughout the country. Yes, you will see very tall people on bikes all over the place. And yes, you will have pancakes and cheese and all these kind of things. You do see those stereotypes you, you've seen and seen the movies and stuff like that and the beautiful buildings. Yes, you will see those too. So be prepared for that because you're going to see these cool buildings like oh wow that's cool that's cool that's cool so don't be surprised if you do see a lot of those stereotypes you've heard of and be like wow it is really gorgeous here wow there really is canals all over the place wow they really are tall here you will have that when you come and it is kind of a fun thing oh and one more thing don't forget if you're going to be going around the country to buzz your ticket in and out when you go because that's how they kind of check people so make sure you when you get to the train stations you'll see this little like buzzy thing and some doorways as as I got make my sure ticket. even if it's already open you just... flash your ticket on there and it'll say you can go in go in and then when you leave make sure you check it out because if you get return tickets and stuff like that that's how they check them so make sure you buzz in and out with uh, where you take the trains around the country. And they're super easy to go to, they're clean, they go all over, they're efficient. You know, take, you can go place in half an hour, an hour or so to get on most of the places in the country, maybe an hour and a half, you know, two at the longest. But it is really easy to use, but don't forget to buzz in and out, okay? Now my last couple don'ts I'm gonna kinda of put in there for specifically for Amsterdam, um, because I know a lot of tourists might only watch this video. In Amsterdam, one, don't take pictures of the girls in the red light district. It's not a good thing to do. Um, another thing I would say for you is if you're looking to do the hop on, hop off bus, you don't do the hop on, hop off bus here in Amsterdam because it's canals everywhere and the buses can't go to a lot of places. So the hop on, hop off bus just kind of goes around the periphery of the city. So mm -hmm. it might not be worthwhile. I mean, there's a, there's a canal one that might be worth it, but not the bus one. So don't do that. Also with Amsterdam is don't think that Amsterdam is just the red light district. There's so right. many things to see here. So many great great no, museums to go to and I mean and you can go and you can go see you know of course the Rees Museum, the Van Gogh Museum, you go to the Anne Frank House, all these kind of things. You can see that but there's more than that here and a lot
lot of tourists, when they come, they come for like a party weekend or something like that, and they just stay in the red light district, the bars, the coffee shops, and look at the girls in the windows and stuff like that. And the city's completely different once you leave that part. And if you don't like those kind of things, you can love this city without that. Because you go around and you have all these canals, all these different museums you can see and all kinds of stuff to truly enjoy. So don't think Amsterdam is just the red light district. Just like don't think Netherlands is just the Amsterdam. There's so much more. Mm. Y'all already know. We ain't, we ain't coming there for no red light district. Right. Mm -mm. We bringing the kids. <laughs> so we're doing the family friendly things. Facts, facts. And we want to go to, I forgot the name of the theme park, but we're definitely going there. And we want to do like some day trips if we can. Yeah. Again, don't have no date i'm just putting it out there when we do come okay yeah the netherlands uh scenery just look like a vibe though like just yes. being able to sit outside alone mm -hmm. it's like a just relaxation moment that you can get out of them yes, you know what i'm yes. saying that's a good and thing. i actually love the weather then we that react too. to the weather mm -hmm. the storms and all that i actually sure like did. that vibe i yeah, love yeah. overcast days so i think i'm like that or two here okay and i think my last little don't for you when you're here is don't forget to bring a jacket. I don't care if it's summer and they say, oh, it's going to be warm every single day here and sunny. The rain yeah, we made will pop before. up. Today, we like were supposed Florida. to have beautiful yep. skies like Cali. this all the time. And we kept getting rained on and rained on and rained on, off and on. So just heads up with that, okay? Anyway, those are just some don'ts about visiting the Netherlands. I know it's not the greatest sight because I'm here in my hotel room, but I'm heading home tomorrow, so I wanted to get this video done before I packed up and headed out to the airport. All right, man. Great video. Make sure you guys go show them some love. You know, show them some support. Oh, uh, yeah. Some good facts. Good things to know. Yeah, it's very good things to know. Some things we knew already and some we heard for the first time. So yeah. feel free to let us know some more don'ts. Okay? Some big don'ts. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace.